Hi guys, many people are up in arms regarding the two-part system. Some people are happy, some people are not. But I will be responsible for my employees. Um, and obviously I'm working under the Furniture Bargaining Council. So I'll obviously need to ensure that my staff members have a completed form, copy of the ID, a copy of their banking details and the tax details. Okay. If you do owe SARS tax by not having a submitted return or you earn too much income in your previous year and you have not declared it and they found out, the fund would need to get a tax directive from SARS in order to withhold that particular amount. The applicable cost that you will incur by withdrawing from this particular savings spot would be the admin fee, which would be 300 bucks based on our bargaining council, and then the tax which is applicable then to the marginal tax rate and not the retirement tax tables, okay? I'm kind of against withdrawing from the savings spot unless it's two particular reasons. You have major debt that you want to start servicing, at least feel less pressure. And the last reason is a medical emergency. Either you're going for an operation or you want to pay for, for your child, your mother, whatever the case may be. Other than that, I am against withdrawing from your savings spot because at the end of the day, the more you withdraw, the less the value of your retirement package uh, becomes. And then let's say you do retire, and you only have like five or six years of money you can live off, and then you would need to depend on the state. And you obviously do know the state pension um, grant is probably like under two and a half, I'm not too sure. But yeah, that's just some details regarding the two-part system. So our company, our employees can start withdrawing. They'll get their money obviously within a three month period, but at least they kind of feel like there's a light at the end of a tunnel for whatever particular reason that they would like to withdraw the money for.